Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. It is I, your songwriting partner, your co-producer, and as always, your friend, Joe CB. And happy Wednesday, everyone. And Wednesday, always for us, is the ghostwriting class as part of our creative writing series. What does that mean? What do we do when we ghostwrite? Well, we take a famous, well-known song that's on Billboard charts or any kind of uh, music platform chart. And what we do is we look at the words in, in the whole chorus. And then we write our own words that'll fit into that chorus, word for word, line for line, but it's our own words and our own story. So that is uh, what we've done or what we, we are going to do today. And, you know, we always pick a song that kind of speaks to us. Well, I do. I always look for things that are kind of challenging and, you know, uh, and take a fresh take on it. So, you know, I don't want you, when you do this exercise, it's, it's, it's um, one thing to remember, try to write your own story. Don't borrow from theirs, you know, like try to create a whole new scenario for the words because it can influence you because you just read the words to this song. So it can be quite easy to um, assimilate the subject matter around what they already have. And uh, that is, well, I mean, as long as it's not using the words, it doesn't really matter, I guess, you know. Um, why do we do this? Well, you know, uh, as songwriters, and I always tell you this every week, but I'm going to reiterate it because um, it's a good pattern to listen to. Um why do we do this? What's the point? What's the point of copying someone else's already well-known song and rewriting words to it? Well, it's a challenging brain exercise because you have to fill every line from their song with your own words, but it's got to make sense. It's got to have a good story. It's got to have hooks. It's got to, you know, and, but why do we do it? What's the point of it? Well, when you're a songwriter yourself and you write a first verse, it's always a challenge because I know for myself, I always give all my best stuff away in the first verse. And it's really hard to follow up with that sometimes. It's like, all right, well, I said everything I wanted to say in the first verse. Where do I go from here? My God, it's like, you know, where am I going to go? So it's kind of cool that, you know, um, this exercise really helps you when you're working on your own music to have a starting point or you've been, you know, you've been practicing this kind of thing through this exercise. Um, so you you understand how it works and, uh, and what's needed from you. So, you know, if you were to write, you know, um, you know, whatever, whatever song you're looking at, like I said, the challenge is to write the same amount of words and syllables, the syllable words in each line to match completely. Um, and that's not easy to do. I, I sometimes when I'm working on this before I film these, it takes me a while to really come up with something that A, is really catchy, B, that in, you know, syllabic, you know, uh, sense, it makes sense with all the other words in the real song words, you know? And, uh, so it's a challenge. It really is a challenge. And, um, you know, and sometimes I'll write and I'll rewrite. I'll do a little bit of a tweak and, you know, I like this better. I like this better. So, you know, um, and it's a really good brain exercise because it gets you to think, it gets you to elaborate on a story. You're forced to create your own story. You know, and when is it not a good time to exercise your brain, um, your brain power through writing, through practice? I mean, that's the best way you can do it, you know? So these are just little, you know, little nuggets of information and things that help you uh, with your creativity. Um, the other thing is, it also helps you like I say in the a uh, couple of the other creative writing classes that we we cover, um, you know, it, it's really good to be able to put on the creativity when it's needed. Like 
let's say you're writing with somebody today. Let's say you and a friend last night called each other and your friend says, well, I'm going to, how's two o'clock for you? I'm going to come over at two o'clock. And you say, yeah, two's good. All right, good. So, all right, I'll come over at two. We'll just, you know, we'll work till about six, maybe. All right, great. Come on over. Okay. Maybe that day you had a horrible day and nothing went right. And, you know, you're, you're the last thing on your mind is being creative. Well, these are like little things that like put you in that frame of reference so that when you are ready, you know these little tricks to get yourself kind of prepared for a creative meeting, you know, which is, you know, I don't always feel creative, but like when I know I have to write with somebody between this time and this time, I have to do things to make me, make my creative side wake up so I can get ready and work with, the, you know, whoever it is I'm working with. Especially when they're paying you, you have to, you know, it's like they're looking to you for the answer. So I know as a songwriter and as a producer, people paid me a lot of money to come over and be creative between this time and this time. And I can't let them down. It's my job, you know? And um, so these are, these are like really good ways to get you in the mood and get you creative on that you know, on that track. And these are really good things. So anyway, um, enough of that. Um, the song that I picked is a band who's on the charts right now, a new band. Not, I don't know if they're a new band, but they're new to me. They're new. They're on my radar. Very, you know, they, they just came, popped on my radar this, this week. So the band is called Arkells, A-R-K-E-L-L-S. And the song is called Years in the Making. And it's a really cool song. In fact, um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to play you uh, the chorus. So turn the lights down low, rolling up my sleep. Right now I'm in my zone. Put your eyes on me. I got the skies to show it to you. Come for free. It's been years in the making. So put your hands That's the chorus. So that is where you have to write all new words. Okay, so I'm going to show you uh, what I wrote. Okay, so, you know, their first line is, wait, I got their lyrics up here on my screen. Okay, so turn the lights down low, rolling up my sleeves. Right now I'm in my zone. Put your eyes on me. I got the scars to show it didn't come for free. It's been years in the making. Right? So that's their line. So I wrote, just when I feel all right, start messing with my head. I barely sleep at night. Who's sleeping in your bed? You tell me lies on lies with every word you said. You set me free and yeah, pleading. Then, or it could be, you're the queen of deceiving. So I wrote both just in case, and then we could have a shootout to see which one you liked actually better. So, and then the next part of that, because there's two, two parts of the chorus. So then it goes, so put your hands up high, baby, walk with me. I see it in your eyes. It's something you believe. You got the scars to show it didn't come for free. It's been years in the making. So mine is, you always play your games and you always win. Don't think you'll ever change. Not sorry for your sin. You never love nobody. You're the one to blame. You're the queen of deceiving. I like, think I like that better. Okay. So that's it. It's settled. The queen of deceiving. I like that. It's a title. Cool title. Um, so what I'm going to do. So you see how every line I did worked with their line so that's the whole point it's got to work perfectly you know um so you know this is like i said food for thought what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to play you me running the whole thing so here here's me doing the whole thing 
All right, guys, so I'm going to try the lyrics all the way through for the ghostwriting. Here we go from the top. Here we go. Just when I feel all right, I'm messing with my head. I barely sleep at night, who's sleeping in your bed? You tell me lies all alive in every word you said. You're the queen of the sea, man. You always play your game, and you always win. Don't think you'll ever change. I'm sorry for your sin. You never love nobody, you the one to blame. You're the queen. That's the whole thing. All right. So I can't wait to see what you guys wrote for this. Um, send it to me in a text. Send it to me in an email. Or make a little video of yourself singing it. Uh, whatever you do. Um, anyway, guys, that's all the time I have for today. I love you all. I miss you. Be safe. Be careful. And this is Joe CB signing off. Until tomorrow. I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful evening. And see you tomorrow. Peace.